This video shows you how to prepare Lucina for the postpartum hemorrhage SCE. Here's what you'll need. Prepartum abdomen. Red food coloring from Lucina's inventory kit, optional. Lucina's blood tank. Boggy contracted uterus. Backplate. To set up Lucina for the postpartum hemorrhage SCE, ensure the simulator and instructor workstations are powered on. Advance to the home screen and select Pre-configured SCE Major Postpartum Hemorrhage due to Uterine Atony and select Run. A setup instruction screen will be seen. Ensure the rotation ring is removed from inside the mannequin's torso and the descent mechanism is in the highest position. Ensure no other birth canal is installed within the standard delivery birth canal. The standard birth canal is installed by default. Lucina's blood tank can either be filled outside of the simulator or with the simulator setup. For this video, we will demonstrate setup with the tank previously filled outside of the simulator. Connect the tank enable tube with the green connector to the lower green port on the baffle. Insert the blood tank into the mannequin torso. The tank flanges will slide into the grooves. Connect the blood in tube on the tank with the red connector to the red blood port on the baffle. Place the placenta pouch on top of the bleeding tank. To install the boggy contracted uterus, connect the blood uterus tube with the red connector to the red blood out port on the lower baffle. For proper placement, ensure the uterus air tube with the blue connector is connected to the blue port on the upper baffle. The orange valve has no connection. Place the boggy contracted uterus in the abdominal cavity over the placenta pouch. Ensure the bag is pulled snug with any slack tucked under the uterus. Lightly lubricate the birth canal and the mannequin's external genitalia using the cottonseed oil provided. Gather the boggy contracted uterus external genitalia fully inside the mannequin's torso and push the skin through the birth canal. Tuck in the labia and position the uterus genitalia smoothly over the standard birth canal. Tuck the edge skin of the uterus under the torso skin around the genitalia opening. Push the external genitalia flap under the buttocks and attach it to the rectal plug. Install the back plate without the cervix retention plate. Ensure the arrows on the top of the plate point towards the mannequin's feet. Place the prepartum abdomen onto the mannequin. Lucina is now ready to proceed with the major postpartum hemorrhage due to uterine atony SCE.